day of Vlogmas. It is uh, December the 5th, it's a Friday morning, and it's about quarter to 11, and I am outside Fortnum and Mason here in Piccadilly, London, and I'm gonna take you on a little uh, journey to look at everything festive, all the food, all the treats, hampers, decorations, you name it. So, without further ado, I was waiting for this um, red van to move. Let's get on with the tour. But yeah, it looks fantastic. And um, the window display, I will show in a sec, is an advent, which is so cool. Right, you don't need my ugly mug in that shop, but look at this building. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can see in each of the windows is a number. So um, it should be lit up on the five. It's not, I'm not sure that's all about. Um, but yeah, 2020, the red buses are going past. How cliche London but it looks beautiful. We might be back at another time during the evening, but it is a gray and very wet day here in London. It's a lot busier than I thought it would be. I think now we're in tier two, people are a bit more out and about. So I'm intrigued to see um, if there's a queue. I mean, the exit I think is there in the middle, but yeah, I don't think we've got a queue. So onwards we go. It's zero degrees today, which is the coldest it's been all year and i haven't got my gloves because it's kind of hard to use with my camera oh my gosh this is so festive guys i love it there's literally a bus coming along here every three seconds but look at this gorgeous shop front i feel like shop front is a bit of a understatement really but it looks absolutely stunning green man says walk so let's have a little look at the window displays and i've got my little wind muffler on so hopefully the audio isn't too bad but i will be wearing a mask inside the store obviously but i'm sure it'll be fine so this time last year this was carnage i did come here last year and it was absolutely random i think i did come on a saturday so i will link last year's in the description below so you can kind of see what they had last year but in the window displays, you're gonna get me in the reflection, so I apologize for that, guys. But basically what they've done is from their catalog, I believe, each year, they've done a, or key years in particular, they've done a window display that reflects what the artwork or what the concept was back in the day. So you can see here at the top, in the reflection just about this is the 1930s one and i love it and they always have animated windows which i know is kind of old school but i absolutely love it and i think it's such a shame that more stores don't do this i appreciate it's probably very expensive to do um they've got a little hashtag there fortnum's a christmas so um definitely gonna have to use that on the old gram but then we've got 19 at 34 we've got a gorgeous little oh look at the chandelier um spinning round we've got a gorgeous table set up there with um a rather interesting looking chat let's have a look down here so this is the original artwork that they have um, based on and I can just see there's a little mouse or is it a rat spinning on the little chandelier and then we've got 1952 and I can I just say I love the design like the architecture outside here it's absolutely beautiful and this kind of I don't know what you call that like a washed out duck egg blue um, or green but 1952 we've got these two um, beef eaters is that what they are called yes here we go here's the concept here and we can see the little curtain is rising to <laughs> a little mouse in the background with a glass of champagne I believe and some presents oh I like that one I think it's my fave so far and then we have 1957 um, and then the artwork here on the bottom right for the 250th time we're celebrating Christmas oh my gosh how old is this store I'm gonna have to google that I'll let you know um, but we've got a nice light lit up a uh, champagne bottle there and everyone is getting a glass including santa himself and then the next window is 1965 and everyone's getting some nice little pictures underneath the bauble wreath but this one is absolutely stunning and i just want to give it nearer because i believe maybe these open oh here we go right on cue who have we got here a lovely dressed gentleman with some presents and then another one with a little glass of fizz and yeah so this is the 1956 one. Oh, that's lovely and then we're literally jumping quite a lot of years we're in 2008 and we've got this beautiful i don't know what you call that kind of like a almost like a laser cart looking uh design there with a bit of a spinning background and if you look really closely on the one that's spinning it's got cakes crackers Christmas pudding, champagne, oh, there's a bit of ding dong going on behind me. But this is the concept from 2008. Then on to 2015, I do remember this one, because I remember all the kind of tropical um, parrot vibes, but this is the 2015 making Christmas merrier. There we go, I've answered my own question. Since 1707, 
this is one old store um, and you will see inside how gorgeous it is but yeah that's a nice window and then lastly the 2021 has gone back to its original colors or the the colors that are so prominent in store and look at these little baubles hanging around being silly love all these animated windows they're so cool um, and then this is this year's concept art love it right that is enough of the outside cold weather my camera is covered in water so let me clean you and in we go right mask is on and in we go to one of the favorite and best stores in all of london let's have a little sanitize thank you very much okay so this entrance that i've come in is the chocolate section but i'm basically gonna just skip and go to the middle and show you the tea section the christmas section all the good stuff but here we are oh it's a lot quieter than it was last year I'm not saying that's a good thing we want things to be back to normal but for friday morning it's not too bad it's a little i guess it's probably what i thought it'd be but we've got this beautiful staircase with some gorgeous super fun giant containers with different tea jams all the way up so this is four stories i'm not totally sure what's on the top they kind of been on the top floor actually and then it goes all the way down it's basically an exploded hamper it's massive guys i'm just trying to not look in the viewfinder because it's huge it's actually ridiculous and look at the bottom of this christmas pudding box it's got all the ingredients <laughs> the cooking instructions that's absolutely brilliant so as we go around we'll look on the back of um, these tubs we've got a coffee tub there uh and there's some other bits up there i can't quite see what else we've got oh it's making my legs go funny right let's head on over to the tea section there's definitely a certain pattern that i personally go around certain stores but for me this is usually where i would come in in normal times but basically on the left hand side you've got all your bougie teas you can get them obviously by the weight perfect perfect lovely gift but Fortnum is known for having a lot of pre-packaged tea. Um, they come in beautiful, beautiful containers, for example, like here, but they have a lot of loose leaf tea, but also bagged tea as well. I've just noticed it says here, Christmas tea is on floor one, which we will go up to. And it looks like they've made upstairs a little bit more of a Christmas destination, um, but something that's really good when you come here, whether you're a tourist or like a local, it's super fun to have one of these um, reusable bags. The small one is eight pounds or 7.95 remember tax is all included in the uk so um that is the true price and then the big one i'm just going to quickly look i have just sanitized my hands is 9.95 i'm very tempted to get one of those um and that's the standard fortnum one they have with a shrimp or something on it all the time and they do have some other ones which i will show you as we go round. what it looks like is that they've moved quite a few of the tea options from floor one um to last time i came here to the ground floor probably to drive people um, up to the first floor just to spread everyone out a little bit more and at the tea station you can try a different um, series of teas if you would like but yeah no queue at the moment which is interesting to see we've got all these gorgeous chandeliers throughout the whole of the store as well as beautiful beautiful christmas trees as i said we walk upstairs but look at this display all the flying cups and saucers going up the stairs how cool is that and obviously the lift has got that on a little bit as well and continue your tea experience on the first floor we shall we shall um but yeah so you've got loads of different gifts and things um i always think kind of strainers and tea strainers are a really cool gift to have and it's always nice to have a little bit of a special one i mean these are like proper fancy but it's interesting to see that they are on sale they come in a gorgeous box kind of like a tiffany box in a way um but loads of different tea strainers i'm actually getting really hungry guys so i feel like we should be going towards the kind of snack section so many different types of loose leaf so basically this whole section here is loose leaf which is a significant amount of loose leaf um i think i'm getting that right i think that's all loose leaf and then in the section back here i believe it's kind of more of a coffee section or it is it's all coffee but look at that display that is absolutely stunning and you can obviously grab bits and bobs that you want so yeah about 13 pounds for 250 grams of coffee personally i can't say whether that's cheap or not i do not know i don't drink coffee but Fortnum's always has these kind of um, 
greeny bluey boxes i call it green boxes um and they always have like different combos of different things and you'll see that throughout the store whether it's teas jams you name it so for example yeah you've got like these six teas and these do change quite often which is good to see there's quite a few different versions and then you've got the loose tea as well and i believe these are new in these little wooden boxes something a little bit more special by the looks of things not the cheapest tea at 37.50 for 90 grams but what a gorgeous 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 gift i'm saying gift i feel like you could just buy this for yourself guys you don't have to buy them for somewhere else but these are definitely kind of best sellers all the little gift boxes i really want to get one of these christmas bags they're cool aren't they um and this is actually usually the bit that i can't even get into even when i'm like not vlogging the biscuit section so these tubes of biscuits are kind of famous um when you come here so you can see in that wall unit there there are so many to choose from so i'll show you a couple in a second but i kind of wanted to see the christmas ones um because they're musical biscuit tin shall i say is very very popular and this definitely will sell out so it's 15 pounds and you get i don't know like a bunch of was it 300 grams of biscuits but the tin you can keep forever it's such a beautiful keepsake and then yeah you've got all the other biscuits oh my god this is making me hungry hungry guys so we've got this huge section of shortbread which is amazing nat if you're watching oh my gosh yum indeed um and then you've got kind of more standard biscuits but going round let me point out salted caramel biscuits yes chocolate pump biscuits yes clotted cream digestive i can't even talk i'm so excited um but yeah they've got loads and loads of rose biscuits oh interesting uh dark chocolate macadamia oh and i just love the packaging but even though it is christmas they also have other bits and bobs so there's like a happy birthday one there um oh if i can get in focus my camera is struggling a little bit i think where there's people in the background but yeah they do have non-christmas things um yeah so that one up there is 25 pounds i love love this fairground one this merry-go-round one it's very kind of mary poppins i really like that then if you are super fancy you get your hamper from fortnum and mason but you can get the little one for 85 pounds which i don't think is too bad but honestly you'd keep the hamper for years it's so lovely uh they've got a variation of different books which we'll see as we go around so you've got a cookbook um gift box for 50 pounds then as so there's some other combos but look look at that one how good would that be if someone bought you that i mean honestly i don't know where i'd put it it's so big you know obviously that's the reason why i don't have one <laughs> um but as we come around we've got this gorgeous 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 christmas tree look at that oh and this probably sounds really silly but where we've got all the tins of biscuits over in that corner up there they've got this little display and i obviously just walked past this last year because it looks like it's been here a little while and we've got oh without my shadow you can see what is in each of the tins and a little bit of a photo i like that so it's not too much of a surprise that you spent like 18 pound on biscuits that you don't want but i must say for me coming in a shop like this something that i really love aside from the actual products is all the fixturing i love all these old school fixtures obviously they probably are you know extremely old and bespoke but it just looks fantastic with that little staircase but look at the chandelier and there is usually a cafe up there which they've obviously changed into an extended store area um but oh look we've stumbled over the champagne and truffle section <laughs> my gosh please can someone buy me this <laughs> Fortnum send me a treat please this looks amazing um yeah obviously who doesn't love champagne and chocolates you cannot go wrong with that then we've got all the different preserves this is quite a big section preserves uh, yeah we've got oils we've got um different spreads now if you are into preserves this is the place to go you name it chutneys spreads oils and as i turn the corner are you ready have you ever seen so many jams marmalades <laughs> and honey options in your entire life guys we're not in tesco anymore um and again one of the beautiful christmas trees there so so lovely but let's get back to the food we have got a whole section here We've got lemon curd jams and i love these trio boxes i think this is so nice i love apricot apricot so nice haven't had it in ages so maybe i'll grab one of those for myself this is the honey section and if i remember rightly last year there was some real expensive honey um annoyed like obviously i don't want to touch things but you can get <laughs> a whole thing of british honeycomb a whole frame it's amazing i obviously wouldn't know what to do with it but oh, how nice is that with the bow what a lovely lovely gift i'm not sure what these are called but you know the thing to stir very nice indeed i'm trying to see if there's like a bougie one because 
I do remember there being a, a fancy one last year. And in Fort Norman Mason you will find quite a lot of things which are linked to the royal family. Um, this is a store that is used a lot by the royal family and sells Dutchie products. Um, so you can see here Duchess of Cornwall Honey which is an exclusive for £20. Um, oh and let me just zoom in on the label you can see that there. So that's quite a nice little gift. And then you'll have a lot of pro um, products from Highgrove. So you've got a Highgrove Honey Royal Estate and obviously that comes from Highgrove. Um, and you can see a little bit more info there. As I say there are a lot of preserves. I can't say I know much about jams. Um, I have a couple of favourites that I buy from Tesco. Um, I don't buy jam that often because my portion control is a little bit questionable. I love, love, love putting jam on toast. Even on crumpets actually. Oh, so there are some actual Christmas preserves. I'm literally showing you the normal stuff. I was thinking I haven't really stumbled over anything Christmassy yet. Guys, I'm really sorry if I'm going through really quickly or if I'm waffling on too much. I'm just a bit like, there's so much to look at. And I was a bit like this last year. I think this and um, yeah, I think this store for me is the hardest one to vlog in because there's just so much to look at. I was looking for that bougie honey, but we've got Manuka honey for £65. But we'll keep an eye out for the most ridiculous, amazing, fancy thing that we can see in this store. But oh, well, that's cute. Yeah. Isn't it? I think they had those last year. Now, if you've watched my vlogs for a while, you'll know that I am not a cook. I do not enjoy cooking. But when you stumble across things like this, the white truffle olive oil, it makes me kind of want to get into it. But yeah, we've got loads of different sauces um, and dressings to pick from. So yeah, I love it. And I do really like these little kind of trickety um, boxes. They're beautiful. Oh, and I love pate. I very, very rarely have pate because it's a bit naughty. Oh, sorry. I'm casting a shadow there but we've got quite a few different pates to choose from there for £10 but we'll go down to the fresh food section downstairs and I'm sure they'll have even more down there. We've got some Christmas puds on the ground floor and I love that they come in um, like a proper bowl and they've got like the muslin or whatever you call it the fabric to I guess steam it in um but yeah we've got a few different versions there I must say I, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of um Christmas pudding or not I don't know I think I've only ever had kind of like normal supermarket Christmas pudding which is I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it maybe one day I will try a slightly fancier one but I definitely am more of a, a profiterole and chocolate log because I don't know maybe I'm a bit boring oh peanut butter hazel and chocolate spread oh my gosh can you see the hazelnuts on the top that is amazing They're, these are nine pounds pistachio and rose oh i wonder what you have that with oh it says the cakes dips and ice cream and then we've got a pecan and maple spread there on the bottom but as i say it's friday morning it's uh the friday the 5th of december and i think it's probably about i don't know 10 past 11 by now it is quite busy but there's no queuing outside um so yeah if you are in the area thinking of coming do go towards the 10 o'clock time just to avoid the tube oh got some fresh food here but we'll go downstairs and have a look so yeah, I guess the point I'm making, I got off at Piccadilly Circus, because um, that's really easy for me, but it only takes me like 15 minutes to get here because I live quite central in London. But at the moment I would say don't be put off by coming out if you feel comfortable coming out. Um, everyone, literally everybody, touch wood, has got a mask on. Everyone has their nose covered and I think the social distancing here, there's a lot of respect for each other. So um, unlike maybe some other shops, I don't know. It's, I, I'm thumbs up to this. This is definitely the most enjoyable browsing experience that I've had. Hold on a minute. I've got a backup here. I walk past this fridge and they have got these beautiful jars with cheese in. We've got Stilton. I love stinky cheese. Not for everyone, but I love all of these different jars. These would be so nice to have in your house and I love the gift set. I think it's time now for us to explore the chocolate section. Honestly, I'm loving all these um, Christmas trees up the top. We have this gorgeous gorgeous counter which I no doubt showed last year in my vlogmas but there's not 50 people crowded around this time obviously due to current circumstances but this is basically the sweet counter and they've got loads of different things and I have to apologize in advance so I don't get some of the names right and the corner over there do, 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 is chocolate heaven but we're going to start here we are at oh my gosh I'm so hungry this is the wrong time to come guys it's like 11s is. we've got the fudge counter oh wow amazing rum and raisin chocolate orange peanut butter honey treacle and ginger I I mean, I have to admit, this is the kind of place where I'd be like, oh, can I have three pieces of this? And then it'll be like 50 quid or something. But I'm sure if you say, look, I want to spend about a tenner or 20 quid, 30 quid, they will help you out. But sometimes with these things, I don't know what £7.50 per 100 grams is. 
It seems like a lot, that one's 9.50, who knows. I do think these little boxes they've got made up of loose marshmallow look absolutely amazing um, with the packaging and these are 10 pounds, so at least you know what you're paying. Um, yeah, we've got some, do you call it nougat or nugget? I'm gonna call it nugget. Um, I mean, you can't actually answer me in the comments, but it looks amazing. My dad loves, loves it. And then we've got brittle at the top. Oh, I haven't brittle in a long time. But there's always loads of little gift bags all year round. Obviously the chocolate coins, a bit more of a thing at Christmas time, but you're always gonna come here and be able to get all of these treats for yourself if you are on holiday or take them home to your family. Now, this type of thing, I must say I've never really tried. So they're made in France. And apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong, glacé fruits, glacé fruits, I'm not sure. But you can see all the different flavours that they have there, eight pound per 100 grams. But look how beautiful they look. I think on camera they're definitely not as colourful as in real life. But I bet these are such a luxury, wonderful treat to have. They look exceptional, don't they? Now, <laughs> this is not your standard marzipan that you're going to get down Asda. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. You've got <laughs> carrots. Let me just show you the flavours here. Um, oh, which ones look good? Bananas, tomato. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Or maybe that's just the design of them. I'd have to ask. I think maybe, maybe they're all a little bit flavoured. Um, but yeah, and then over on the side, we've got some more kind of fruit jellies. Um, I say I don't really know what these are, but they look quite yummy. I'm definitely more of a chocolate person, but this counter is beautiful. And I've just noticed, can you see those sugar mice? Right, I'm zooming in for you guys. I'm gonna hold my hand, but can you see in the middle there? We've got some sugared mice. We've got some old school sweets. Um, and we'll go around the other side and show you. I love that. And if you're feeling, you know, very generous, we can get this uh, chocolate Santa for 155 pounds. You've got 2.2K of chocolate there i would be terrified of wrecking it um but then on the end here we have got the marshmallow counter um which looks absolutely ridiculous gone are the days of flumps if you come in here this is why i don't want to try this stuff because then i'm going to want to have really fancy marshmallows in my life but these look absolutely gorgeous you've got rose all oh, cotton candy vanilla raspberry strawberry all oh, passion fruit would be nice but loads to pick from and then over to turkish delight now i've had really good turkish delight that was bought for me um it's actually by someone through work that i worked with as a present and I loved it um, as opposed to the kind of chocolate covered Turkish delight but we've got some lovely flavours there I think I would enjoy oh I'd like to try this pistachio one that would be interesting wouldn't it this is literally me just being like oh I want to eat that I want to eat that obviously all of this would be absolutely amazing but let me know in the comments what stuff looks interesting what would you like to try oh this is a good idea so they have got these little gift bags with I'm just gonna touch it um, a mix of different flavours that you can pick from. They're about £9 for each of those bags, so that's a really good idea. And then we can see here the rest of the old school sweets and then the gorgeous chandelier at the top. Oh, it's getting busy, everyone's coming in. Right, chocolate time. You're gonna get tons and tons of different chocolate treats in these gorgeous, gorgeous boxes. And yes, there is more confectionery on the first floor. Oh, gosh, we need to get up there. Look, it's suddenly getting very busy, but it's all good. But we've got handmade chocolates, Here's an example of some of the gorgeous, gorgeous treats. I love peppermint creams. They are one of my favourite things. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a look at the really fancy ones. So we are in the gorgeous, I keep saying gorgeous, I need to think of some other words, guys. But there is no other way to describe this. Um, confectionery section. Okay, I just got told of her filming. <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to film in here since... I don't know, that's ridiculous. It's free advertising, guys, but I'm basically gonna ignore that woman and just carry on filming anyway. So I will insert some photos of the chocolates now because they looked amazing. But I have come up to the first floor to check out the Christmas section. Oh, wow, look at this table display. Very nice indeed. Right, what have we got here? Oh, look at this view from up here. We've got some Christmas blend, some cookies very nice and we will go all the way down to the lower ground in a short time but let's go and see all the true Christmas treats that they have up here it's definitely much quieter up here and a Fortnum and Mason tea towel is definitely something that you want to grab if you are in London 
as a tourist. Well, not even as a tourist, really, to be honest. I think my sister's got a few of these, but it's a really cool thing to have. <laughs> also, guys, I've filmed pretty much everything around Universal, and you're not supposed to film on rides. I'm sure I can deal with a with the Fortnum and Mason. So as we come into the main entrance, we've got the parlor on the left-hand side. Oh, it smells good. Let me show you some of the ice cream, and they'll have cakes. And there also is another section where you can get afternoon tea. Um, but yeah, we've got some gorgeous ice cream and frozen yogurt by the looks of things to choose from but it's just like a little cafe so nothing too formal um what we've got there teas six pounds obviously per service probably not the cheapest place to grab a coffee but um it is a nice little setting and you've got kind of pink squishy sofas to sit on but we're gonna go around and look at the Christmas section. Now, what is Christmas tea versus regular tea? Maybe it has a little bit of spice in it. I'm not sure. Um, so for example, we've got the Christmas black tea tin, or maybe it's just the packaging. Um, that's a really, really nice little present. Oh, pecan and ginger biscuits and Christmas fruit and spice biscuits are oh, yummy and I do like that they have the little display boxes so you can see what on earth are in these tins and I do love this little kind of biscuit man I've seen him a few times downstairs he's really really fun to have like a little character but yeah we've got all of the gorgeous Christmas packaging um, and some little what have we got here Christmas cognac butter what is that even a thing oh and that Christmas pudding oh bloody hell 45 pounds that's not the cheapest i don't know if 1.36 kg is a big christmas pudding or not um but this one over here which i would assume is the same size as that one that one is 25 so you know, it's a little bit of a treat these christmas puddings my gosh lovely present but definitely not one if you're feeding like 20 people we're not even allowed to see 20 people but you know what i mean you know what i mean i do like that they put all the christmas bits up here it's definitely a lot calmer want to keep an eye out for things like christmas crackers because they are very very extra here they're very very fancy oh speaking of which i didn't even see them here what have we got here we've got some beautiful christmas crackers oh look at those ones they're massive now the christmas crackers at fort and mason are pretty famous um but yeah you've got six crackers there for 60 pounds i really want to see what's in them i'll see if there's any boxes um i don't want to like touch everything but they are beautiful and then we've got some lovely stockings i must say i don't even have a stocking um i did get that disney one from primark which i will be giving away um but yeah i don't have like a personalized one is that a thing do people have that nice little shot of another chandelier and we've got a nice waiting area with extra bits and bobs we've got biscuits we've got more jams there's literally so much in here i think i've waffled on long enough so cue the christmas music and i will show you the array of christmas bits that they have up here Got my 
right now it's time to head downstairs and hopefully not get told off for filming but this is the kind of fresh food kind of like the more the supermarket bit and this was open um, during the whole of lockdown because it's classed as an essential store so it was just the lower ground here that was open but yeah it's kind of like a waitrose vibe like you've got your wine your fresh meat counters but i will show you um some of the christmas bits but look at the size of this handbar this is ridiculous and it's like exploded upwards hanging from the ceiling it's absolutely beautiful i really like that they've done something very very different this year last year it was i think like baubles or something like that um but yeah let's head on around you can see the massive f m sign there <laughs> that's brilliant i love that so we've got some panettone, like in most places you're always going to get that, it's a great gift. I think the reason people shop here is everything comes in beautiful boxes and it's really really easy to gift. did see these upstairs, they've got these alcohol um, like spirit boxes which I think, I don't remember these last year, I might have missed them but I think that's a really great gift, I would love something like that. I can see here they've got a branded Sipsmith um, stand here, probably something that is exclusive, yeah they've done a collab with the Cambridge Satchel Company, that is such a cool idea. Um, but you can get that bag there um i'm assuming yeah has got the gin in it the shaker and all the other bits and bobs for your cocktail um but i do like that in here they'll have things that are a little bit more exclusive flavor wise or like limited edition so it's definitely somewhere if you are um into fancy drinks um but then fortnum's also have their own alcohol you probably would have already seen in the clips like champagne or should we say sparkling wine and different liqueurs and then you've got your everyday condiments, but some of them obviously are repeats of upstairs. Um, oh, let's see what little bits they have got over here. I don't really want to get in anyone's way, but we've got some fresh baked goods here, which look fantastic. Oh, look at the Christmas Battenberg. How cool is that? And um, fig and almond tart. Oh no, I think I'm more of a chocolate and pecan tart type of person. And then we have got these custard cream biscuits. I don't think I've ever seen such an awesome bougie custard cream in my life or a posh hobnob look at that six pounds a little bit steep for hobnob not gonna lie but just to quickly show you you can get like fresh food fresh pasta and then obviously things like um pastry beef wellington which looks so good quiches and literally the ultimate sausage roll oh they've got christmas sausage roll amazing i'm starting to think this vlog might be a little bit long so i'm going to speed things up a bit and just show you the last few things um but one thing that i do love is cured meats this type of thing for me is an absolute treat i'm not going to buy any because it's literally the 5th of december and i'm going to eat it all but they have got oh my god literally this looks absolutely amazing i love salami i love cured meats and i love a good pork pie look at these oh my gosh i think i probably said this in last year's vlog my dad would literally love stuff like this he loves a good pork pie oh and the other thing that i love at christmas is cheese so we did see these obviously upstairs at stilton and i appreciate stilton isn't it for everybody um so what else have we got welsh rabbit loving the little jar that would be so useful um what else it's all stilton stinky stinky stilton but that massive one there is 40 pounds let's see i mean i'm saying what other cheese they've got they've got this gigantic counter um and i'm loving all these fridges with all the little big gift boxes in look at that you've got a stilton with a big bottle of port what a great great present I think I like port. I've had it a few times, but we have got loads of different cheeses to pick from um, and different spreads. And I've seen quite a lot of foie gras. Can't say I'm a huge foie gras fan, um, but yeah, we have got so many cheeses and it doesn't smell too bad in here. So if you're not keen on cheesy smells, don't be scared to come downstairs. There we have the foie gras. Not really my thing. And then the caviar. <laughs> very very nice i must say i am such a packaging person i love good packaging i think it all looks absolutely stunning but i need to go shopping now oh and something i didn't realize well they've also got wine bags as well i didn't realize they had they've got this little wine bar which is open so let me just show you the menu because i didn't realize that this existed pause if you want to see the prices looks quite cute little sneak in there a little wine bar vibe very nice but i'm gonna go back up to the top floor and um yeah get myself some presents just paying i got some uh, little mint pies that i'll show you but they've got packing which is included so if you're getting a bottle you get a cute little bag 
um, with a ribbon, so just a note. And my time here is done, so it's time to go back out into the rain, oh no, and head home. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Portnum and Mason. Obviously I cannot show you everything, look at these decorations, they're so beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really gross, um, my camera's getting wet, but I hope you enjoyed all the little festive treats I showed you. I have got um, a big thing of some mini petty whatever you call them mince pies and some Christmas fizz to have um, near at the Christmas day or maybe Christmas Eve I'm not sure I'm probably end up just drinking it with my friend but I thoroughly enjoyed having a browse oh my gosh it took me ages to go around I did pick up quite a few things and then I was like right I will be back personally on my own um, so I can grab a few more bits but it's getting a little bit busy now it's just gone 12 o'clock literally an hour went so quickly so with that beautiful background all oh, my hood's in the way um, I'm gonna love and leave you guys I hope that's put you into a bit of a festive mood um, like I said I'm gonna go to like Harrods Liberty Selfridges I don't know basically everywhere if there's somewhere that you really want to see comment below because I'm most probably going um, but I'm not vlogging every single day but I can easily bring my camera along or vlog on my phone so just to let me know so do head over to my Instagram um, and you can see more pics from all of my little days out and also if you would like to subscribe please do that would be wonderful and give this video a thumbs up it really really does help my channel so like I say I'm gonna love and leave you guys and I will see you next time so Merry Christmas